What's up, happy family? This is our 2018 Airsoft Arsenal. Let's see what we got here. First of all, we have the Lancer Tactical M240 Bravo AEG. This is a giant heavy weapon and definitely great for support. A really fun gun and it's pretty cool. This is my Ares Amoeba Ammo 14. It's a really small gun, but it has a great trigger response. This is what I use for CQB. I have a flashlight on the side. I don't put any optics or anything on it. I just use it basically just how it comes and I've added the flashlight too. It's a really comfortable gun and I like it a lot. Pop, 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 pop. This is the KWA Cam 4 RIS. This is what I've been using outdoors for most of the time I've been playing airsoft outdoors. It's a really good, reliable gun. You can throw it anywhere and it's not gonna break. Um, I love it a lot. Normally I have the scope riser and my scope on it, but it's on a different gun now. I use 9.6 volt batteries with this and I like it a lot. Did you watch a video of them doing it? Yeah. Did they, would you hit the sparks into the magnesium or what? You drop the sparks onto the magnesium, uh -huh. but it burns really fast and bright, so you have to put the leaves on it immediately. You need to get leaves and stuff, like a bunch of them. This is an ASG Stair Aug A1. We've never actually used this outdoors. We got it in a mystery box, although it's a really comfortable gun to hold, and I do love how the scope doubles as a carry handle and has iron sights on top. It's also mostly plastic, so it's really lightweight. Let me go find him some leaves. Okay, so I have a magnesium fire starter here. And basically this is a big block of magnesium with lead on the side and it has a striker with little bumps. This is the gun I've been using lately. It's my DMR setup. This is the Lancer Tactical Warlord 18 inch DMR AEG. I love this a lot. It has great distance and accuracy, especially how I have a pro and hop up in here with a GNG green bucking and Firefly Namazu flat hop nub. It has the scope riser and fake ACOG on it currently right now. I love it, the fake ACOG, because it has a four times magnification. With the great accuracy of this gun, it works perfectly with the ACOG. Since I have a mesh mask, it's fun with the scope razor, and I've really, I've painted it and really customized it a lot. I just love this gun. It also has a polymer lower receiver, so it's pretty light. With the little bumps on the striker, you gotta strike magnesium from the block, little shavings down here, until you have a lot, and you can get them all together. Let's get a little bit more. This is my dad's GNG SLR. Um, it is painted on the outside. Psycho from AR15 painted this, he did a great job. It has a polar star on the inside, which Dom from AR-15 did, and it has a pro-win hop-up with a GNG green bucking, which already came with it because it is a GNG, and a Firefly Namazu flat hop nub. It has a green laser on it, a run cam mount, a GoPro selfie cam mount, and Valken red dot sight scope razor, and it also has a plastic black flash hider That should be enough. Once you've got that, you're gonna take this little bar of flint on it, built in, and you're gonna use the same curved side. And if you scratch really fast, you can create sparks of fire. Now make sure you wanna have your dead leaves right with you, or some kind of dry, dead kind of vegetation with you. And you're gonna need to put it right over the fire when it starts and start blowing. So what you gotta do is you gotta light the magnesium. Our next gun is the Well MB4411D Sniper Rifle. We've never actually used this playing airsoft, mostly just because it's such a heavy sniper, um, although it is really fun to shoot in the backyard. The next gun is the Lancer Tactical LT20 Sniper Rifle. Um, it's a great sniper rifle. I just love it a lot and it's really fun. Got 
Next is the Lancer Tactical LT25 Interceptor. This is a very long gun, although I really love the flip up iron sights that it comes with. I've only played with this outside once. It is really fun to play with and I can just hold this forever and not get tired a single bit because it's completely polymer except for some little metal parts and metal gearbox on the inside and stuff like that. I can even hold it with my pinky. That's how light this is. Next is the Lancer Tactical Gen 2 M4 LTO4B RIS. Um, this gun, we have put the red dot sight on it and took off the front iron sight for William to use, my brother. Um, it's overall a great starter gun. I definitely recommend this for a good starter gun. You can definitely customize it. You can, you know, anything you could do on a regular M4. For example, you can take off the handguard. It's a great gun. It's great to just customize to what you need for when you're starting airsoft. Handguard, you can take off the little carry handle sight it came with and put on something else. You can take off, for example, the stock. Really just anything you would with a regular M4. In our airsoft video, I was talking about what I'm wearing and I wanted to get a um, combat shirt. Well, I was at this army supply store today here in town and I picked up this uh, combat shirt. Next I have the Gilboa Silver Shadow. Um, I won this at an e-bike event actually. My dad used to use this a lot for CQB and he's gonna start using it again just because of how small it is and easy to move around. We put a peck box on that doubles as a lipo battery with Dean connection to run the Deans with this. It is a very short gun. It, do, it did come with the stubby handguard and a front sight. I'm not sure why they put a front sight on it if it doesn't have a stock and there's no rear sight anyway, but overall, it's a pretty cool gun. I used to wear uh, camos in this type of camo. I think you call this ACU. Oh, I guess not. Maybe you call these BDUs. What do you call it? What do you call this? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now you have a combat shirt with UCP. Next we have an AW Custom Mauser Broom Handle, aka Han Solo's Pistol. Um, this is a green gas pistol and it comes normally just the Mauser Broom Handle and it comes with the little attachment piece, scope mount and scope to put with it. We got it on Evike just to make it look like Han Solo's Pistol, Han Solo's weapon of choice. Um, this is actually my dad's. He never even really used this outside. It's definitely like a good collector's piece if you like collecting Star Wars stuff. So anyways, I have an old ACU with this UCP camo and, and I stopped wearing it. But um, now that I bought this uh, combat shirt, I'm gonna start wearing this with my ACU pants. Does that sound right? <laughs> the Elite Force H8R Revolver. This is fully polymer and a really light pistol. Um, each one of these little discs holds 10 BBs and it comes with five, so that's 50 right there. So just buying this as a starter pistol is already great because you can have a lot of extra discs with you. It is made by Elite Force. It is a really great pistol and it's just fun to play with. All right, so. We live in Texas, and actually we live in San Antonio, and there are, I think, at least five military bases here. Since there are so many military bases, we have army supply or army surplus stores. Next is a Bear Custom Green Gas. It comes with a Green Gas mag, although you can actually buy CO2 mags for this anyway, if you like Green Gas or CO2. It's a Bear Custom 1911. Um, I really like this gun, this gun a lot because it's ambidextrous and it does have a really nice, comfortable leather grip. I did paint the top slide. It's not the best paint job ever, although I like it, and I think it looks pretty cool. We went to this new army supply store today, and I picked up this shirt. 
And it's pretty awesome, this combat shirt. It was only 25 bucks. It's got reinforced um, elbows. It's got all this places to put your patches. Next is a WeTech Nighthawk Custom 1911. This definitely is a good looking gun with the golf ball texture on the slide and the pistol grip with the silver trigger. Everything about this gun just looks really awesome. It functions really smoothly. Every single piece on this gun just functions really great. It has a green gas powered magazine. I've never took this out to play with and I definitely don't want to because I want to keep it looking and working how it does. This shirt is 95% cotton, 5% spandex, and this is a brand new one. At the store, you can also buy used gear too. Next is a Colt 100th Anniversary 1911. This is just a really cool looking gun, great for reenactments or anything. It's a model of maybe the second model of the 1911 that came out, or version, or whatever. It comes with a CO2 powered magazine. It's basically the exact same thing as, about, as an Elite Force 1911 except it looks like this, just looks like a really old version of it. I've only used this once, although whenever I did it, I had no problems with it. It works really good. That's a pretty nice pistol. Again, since we're a military city, a lot of guys probably just go there and sell their old gear. That's just a follow up to that previous video. So if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it and we talk about our loadouts and what we were wearing. Next is definitely my favorite pistol. It is the Elite Force 1911A1 Tactical. It has an ambidextrous safety, what I like about it. It has awesome iron sights dotted. It has a very nice texturized grip with the tan and gray two-tone paint job. It's the tactical version, so it has a rail on here that I never use, but you could put a flashlight or laser or whatever you want to. It also has the threaded, um, threaded outer barrel if you want to put a fake suppressor or a tracer. It is a CO2 powered magazine. When it comes to pistols, I definitely like CO2 a lot more than green gas. This is one of, definitely the most reliable pistol I've ever had. I've brought this to so many places and it's never broken. I love this a lot and I've all, every single time I've gone, went out to play, except for once, I've brought this. Anyway, that's the end of the video. This is our 2018 Airsoft Arsenal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Be happy. Peace out.